I wanted to make this video to do a little tutorial on how to make bling or gem clusters. So these are some that I made the other day. So these will look great added to any glitter or face painting design and the things you will need will be the gems which I've got loads of different ones and some plastic folders some paper with squares on it like graph paper and I just tore out one sheet of paper and slotted it inside one plastic folder and then the gem so obviously you want to have as much different variations as possible so different sizes different colors you can buy these little bags off eBay for a few pound um, they have loads of different stuff on there the plastic sheets ones I actually got from Wilco's when I bought the the paper and the plastic folders I also bought these ones from eBay which were a bit more special than the plain ones and they come in loads of different colours I thought for the first bunch that I bought I'd stick to a pink theme so they'd all go together and I got these peacock ones and the gem ones from before and then I also got these ones which are actually like little shells which I thought were really pretty and then to stick all the gems together you'll need some tulip fabric paint and this one I have here is pearl silver I actually meant to buy the glitter one but it was the wrong one and then I've got blue glitter one which was meant to be gold but they've run out of stock so anyway I just made do with what I had and these are the ones I made the other day and I actually really like the blue glitter one so this is an example of that it looks really nice as I said before to start off with I'm just getting a piece of paper from the pad and I'm slotting it inside one of these plastic folders. One thing that's really handy to have is a gem picker so this is a pencil version of it and you just sharpen the end and this is from eBay. It's it's alright, it works. Um, I did order a different style the other day so I'm going to see which I prefer. So to start off with I picked out a few gems that I liked the look of, ones I thought would go together and I kind of figured out that I liked to arrange them before I actually glued them together. So I started making a design before I added any of the the fabric paint. I then went into the silver pearl fabric glue and I started to draw out the design and I started doing this by drawing the central shape and then adding the rest of the shapes off it. You don't have to like fully colour it in or fill in, just put enough down so that the gems stick to it and obviously make sure you don't leave any gaps on any gems that are coming off the main section. It's important to keep checking that your gem cluster is all aligned so that's why this squared paper really helps because when you put other gems down it does move a bit so you just have to keep checking that it's all in one straight line. 
on any areas where you have a bit of the excess paint it looks really nice if you add some tiny gems to those areas which I did on this one and then that's that one finished and then you just have to leave it to dry mine I left overnight to dry I don't know if you need to leave it that long but the blue glue paint stuff especially was still a tiny bit wet even the next day I don't know if it's because I added too much but I think it's just better to leave them overnight so I wanted to show you an example of me using the blue glitter paint as well so this is a blue cluster that I put together As I said I only actually bought the blue glitter because I ordered the gold one and then they messaged me saying it had sold out but it actually looks so nice so I'm, I'm kind of glad because I probably wouldn't have ever thought to get a different coloured one because most of the videos tell you to get gold or silver so I'm quite glad about that. One thing to be aware of when you're buying gems is if you buy them on these sheets they've already got like glue on them the self-adhesive which is really handy for like just being able to see and pick the right ones out because obviously when they're in like a tub it's hard to find them but they are also a bit annoying because they kind of stick to the plastic sheet so that's just the pros and cons of getting them on the gem sheets. And I just thought I'd film a third gem cluster, so this one is like a pinky purpley one. Before I first did this the other day I just googled like face bling designs to kind of see some basic ideas of what I wanted mine to look like but mainly I just kind of went with the flow and see and I kind of just saw which two of the same gems I had because that's quite important for if you're making like a symmetrical design but it's really fun to just be creative and kind of go with the flow and just see what happens. So I'll just leave those to dry overnight and um, I just wanted to show you the ones that I've already made uh, because I love them, I think they're so pretty and it was so much fun and 
really therapeutic making these so if you want to give it a go you definitely should and um, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Bye!